Thank you, Mr Speaker. Whether it is progress in relation to a dedicated loss and damage funding facility, efforts to raise ambition when it comes to national climate commitments, or delivering on climate finance and adaptation pledges, implementing the Glasgow Agreement will require that the work of our COP presidency not only be sustained, but enhanced over the next 11 months. Can the President therefore confirm today that the COP26 unit will be fully funded to deliver on all the work programmes mandated in the Glasgow Agreement, and also that the Glasgow Financial Alliance for Net Zero will continue to receive support from the Treasury throughout the remainder of the UK Presidency? Uh, Mr Speaker, I can certainly confirm that uh, we will be taking very seriously uh, our work during the Presidency year, uh, and I will uh, return to the House in due course and set out a written statement on uh, our role during that Presidency year.